Hi everyone, Melissa here from All Creations, coming to you today with the first Shape Car Saturday's video, and we are using the Silhouette Cameo this week, and I do want to apologize because I'm putting up two videos every week, I don't know how to merge my iPad with my computer, so you'll see the card on one, and then you'll, for part one, and then you'll have to come to part two, which is the tutorial on how to um, make the shape card. And for those who are new to the Cameo, I am going to show you how to put in your design ID. So you would just go to the store and um, go to the search bar and type in the number 242-383. And click search and that should pop right up so you would just click on that and go through the process process of purchasing this design all right let's go to library mine is already there and we're gonna click on her she's a cutie and so anyways let's uh, get some things pulled over to the side because we won't need them not right now and we're going to get to the base of the little girl here. Oops, <laughs> I forgot to ungroup this. So we need to go to ungroup. And we're going to remove the earmuffs. Now, click on the little girl. Go over to the right-hand side. Down to the offset panel or the first star. Click on that. Click offset. And we need to... Copy this offset two more times. So right click and click duplicate. And once again, duplicate. So one of these will be the top layer. The other will be, um, the other two will be the part that we're going to actually create the, um, the base of the card with. I added faux stitching to her, so I want to show you how to get to that. Go to internal offset. This is where we're going to um, adjust the distance a little bit. I need the um, the faux stitching to be a little closer to the end over here. And so I'm just going to move it over. And that's just to give it enough space to lay everything. When we lay this down on top of there, it'll be a little bit uh, more so you can see the actual faux stitching when you go to put the card together. Okay, let's click on that center line there again. And we're going to go to the right-hand side and get to our um, line style panel and click on that. We're going to go to the first one, which is style. Click the arrow down, and I like to use the third one. And so there goes the faux stitching, and we're going to group that together. And you just right-click and go down to group. And so that's ready to cut and it's all together. All right. And now if you want your card to be bigger than the size that it's given you, you would select all. You go to the corner arrow and adjust the size so that it can be bigger. So you can adjust it smaller or bigger, you know, according to whatever size you'd like. And so I'm going to leave, leave it wherever it's at. Okay. So if you've noticed... This center line has changed, and I'm kind of glad it did because let me go like this. We're going to put a, a box around it. We're going to ungroup again so that we can get to the center line. And if you didn't notice, did you see that move a little bit? Either you can just take it out all together or you can go up to edit and undo move. And so it'll go back into the same spot it was. But anyways, let's click on that and let's add that full stitching back. All right. Now we need to group that back together. Just that. Okay. And group. All right. And it's there. Okay. So let's move everything else off to the side again and out of the way because we need to work on this part. All right, I like top fold cards, so I um, I usually do it from the top. I will do one from the side 
side so that you can see how that one looks um, and how you have to uh, put that one together. But we are going to flip this top one vertically. So I right click and we're going to hit vertical. Flip, flip vertical and there it goes. We, and you just need just a, a small area there um, at the top. And now let's group all of this together or not necessarily put the box around it. And we're going to go over to the align um, key, which is right here, or open transform panel. And that's just to get to the align key. And you can either use align everything to the left, which is this one, or align everything to the right, which is this one, and do that. And as you've seen it a little bit, it moved. Now we're going to right click and group. And now we can right click and weld. There, there goes, and you don't have to hit group, I meant just right click and weld. Um, and so as you see, that's the base of our card, and you would score that right in the center. All right, and then um, on my next video, I'm going to show you how I score my shaped cards. It's just so that it, it makes it a little easier um, to score. I know a lot of people draw a line down there. I just, I use the small Martha Stewart scoring board and move everything to the right and use the last line. It's just so much easier trying to find where it is. And I'll, I'll show you maybe in the next, in the next video of how I do the shape card, how I score it. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up here. So um, this is, would be your top layer of your card here. And I'm going to put her together so you can see how she looks. You would move this layer next. And now you're going to build her up on top of there. So let's um, ungroup everything. Um, actually, let me just select all of this, put a box around everything, and then I can just click ungroup. So I don't have to do it all individually. Okay, and... I believe her face is one of the first things you need to put on. This is going to be the cup. Oops, I'm sorry. This is going to be next. And you're going to... Uh, let me move this over here so you can see everything. This is going to go right here. And this is going to go right here. Now, and then let's do the cup next. The cup, this is going to be even with the bottom part of her little skirt or whatever. That's going to go there. Let's move the hair next, which is there. And we're going to put the feet on, which is there. Now, if you're working with an older silhouette, and not the Silhouette 3 Cameo. The Silhouette 3 Cameo, the, the needle is a little better. If you're working with the older silhou Silhouette, I would suggest making your card larger because on these shoes, there is um, a little bit of a pattern that's in there, and it's kind of tiny. So it may not cut out right on your Silhouette. And as you can see, you can kind of see it right there. Let me zoom in so you can see that. There's the little pattern. You want to make sure that you um, your silhouette can cut that. So I, if you make it a little larger, you shouldn't have a problem. Okay. And then we're going to build up the cup. And put that there. We're going to put our earmuffs on. Okay. And so you see the earmuffs are behind. I'm going to right-click and bring that to the front so that I can layer that right there. And I might have to do the same with these earmuffs. I do right click and bring that to the front so that you can see, oops, let's bring it to the front again. I must have hit forward. All right, there it goes. The heart goes on top of the cup. And these are her hands, so you can place, oops, and you can't see it. Let's bring that one to the front. 
that's going to go right kind of make it even with this because this is actually her her, her um, arm so make sure the hand is even with her arm we need to bring this to the front too so I'm right clicking and bring it all the way to the front and we're going to lay that right on top of the cup and this is this is the top part of the cup as well let me make sure this is kind of come all the way to the front so if I were to change that color you could see that that's um, let me go over here and this is the color panel and you can just like if I were to change that color a little lighter then you could see that that's the double part of the cup that's just part of the lid there and then her eyes I looked at the picture and it's the um, this part of the eyelash is even with that cup there so you'll know how to set it and I actually got that on the wrong side I do believe and actually it's kind of crooked oops sorry about that let me make sure I'm clicking on the right thing that's the right way okay yeah just make that even with that and then this one is going to go the same way on the other side make it even with the the end of the cup there so that you know how to set it up correctly and so you would put all of that on that on the base of that glue it all together and then you can then put everything on top of this one and that's about it hopefully that made sense and um, I'm totally done with this tutorial I'll see you hopefully next Saturday if not it'll be the Saturday afterwards um, using the Cricut so if you want to see something with the Cricut come back next week all right Thanks so much for stopping by. You all have a fabulous weekend and a blessed one as well. Have a great one.